Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. It's Banished Wednesday. And in this new series, uh, Season 4 of Banished, we are going to be playing with Red Ketchup's Editor's Choice Mod. Uh, current version, 1.22, I believe. Now, he will be updating this shortly, and it will become 1.3, and all of his uh, updates are save compatible, which is wonderful. We are also going to be using Discrepancies DS Jetty and Bridge, and Discrepancies DS Thompson Trade Merchants. These are the mods we will be running, and this is the order you need to put them in in order for them to run. It has conflicts. That means that it makes modifications to the same uh, feature set, i.e. they add to the toolbar and other things might overlap. But this is the order to put them in so that they all work. So now we will go OK and we will restart. And then I am going to show you my screen that shows the setup of the game. So the new game we will call Red Thompson's Hollow. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I, uh, I don't have enough room to do that. So I have to come down here and I have to make it R. Thompson's Hollow. So it's R. Thompson's R. Thompson. Can I get the S in there? I can. R. Thompson's Hollow. So it's Red Thompson is the founder of our city. And we are going to be playing on map zero. We will be using Enchanted Lakes, very large terrain size, mild climate, disasters on, and we will be using the Medium 4 start. Now that's a game with five families, a storage barn, a stockpile, and some minor items to get going, along with no seed crops, two orchard seeds, and one livestock. And the livestock is, you know, dependent, you know, on the, the game start. Uh, when I tested this setup, it, it gave me uh, Frisians. So uh, this is our starting conditions, and we are going to get underway. Woohoo! I always look forward to a new banish start. Um, Sometimes the loads are a little long, but uh, they haven't been using Red's mod and the discrepancy mods. So, yeah. And here we go. First thing we do, we're going to pause and we're going to get our UI up. So here we are. Our Thompson's Hollow. We got 21 citizens currently homeless. We have 11 adults, 10 children. And these are our current supplies. Uh, we are going to have the event log because I like to see what's going on. We are going to take the map. And this is why I chose this map. Look at this ginormous lake. So we have a nice big lake to use the uh, uh, Red Ketchup's dock buildings. We also have a ginormous lake to use the, the jetty and bridge and R. Thompson or the Thompson's uh, trade merchants they all have um, dockside uh, like key walls but made out of different textures so it looks like we have a large river that comes down into the lake and then a large river that goes out and then we have these tiny little streams everywhere and if I back out you'll see I'm on a itty bitty little island to start out and then here we have the massive lake right but just up here to the north and west, we have much building area for our main uh, town. But we can start out with a little settler's area here on the island. Uh, let's get the jobs up. Excuse me. And we will put two builders in right away. And let's get our limits uh, set right now. So we know we're going to want at least 2,000 logs, 2,000 stone, 2,000 iron. We are going to um, go
go with a thousand fuel. Uh, minerals uh, we'll leave at 200, textiles 200. We're going to leave a lot of this stuff alone to start. Tools we're going to want to have at 150. Uh, food, 50,000 to start. Herbs at 100 should be good, but I'm going to actually... Uh, no, I didn't select. Here we go. Herbs. We're going to go up to 250 on the herbs. We want to keep them uh, nice and nice and warm. And we're going to go 75 on the clothing. And then we'll leave all of this alone for now. So I don't want to leave that on the screen. It's going to get cluttered with the initial building anyways. So first things first. We are going to set up the forest node. And how I like to do that is take a road, a dirt road, from right alongside the barn. All right. We're going to come straight down just like this boom so that gives us our road that's the center split we're going to come in here to food uh, we're going to come in here to gatherers hut we'll rotate it around and i don't believe there is a variation there is not okay and if you saw the last series you know that red has reworked all of the vanilla buildings and uh made them beautiful so here we go let's try to get as much in here as we can um, that looks good right there so we're gonna build the gatherers hut we are going to build the new forester so here's the original forester plants and cuts trees and this is the new forester that plants and uh, new seedlings of uh, the new set of trees so I'm going to click that one. We're going to rotate it around. We're going to find... There's the... And... Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Boom. Now, this isn't a huge area, so I don't have to worry about putting houses right next to the... Um, th these two professions, because... The houses are going to be up here, and that's not a very far walk. Then we're going to come in here. Uh, let's continue with the road right up next to the barn. Right to there. And we're going to come in here to stockpile. And I'm just going to put in a generic stockpile the same size as this, which is 4 by 6 So one off the barn, one off the barn, 4 by 6 and then we have a second stockpile, which just needs to have all one item removed. Now, let's look at the fishing. If I come this way. So here's the main river that comes around. That's pretty awesome. I like that, actually. So let's come in back in here to food. Uh, right here, fisherman. We can put a fishery, uh, fishing dock right here. Right there. It's a little off from where I wanted it to be. Can I get it like that? I could get it like that, and it grabs a pretty good portion of the river. Can I go back when I can't? I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Now, if I grab the fishing dock, I'm going to move it up here. We're going to come in here to roads and uh... okay so now we have the three things that we need for food and life we've got uh, wood which we're going to need we've got uh, gatherers hut for food and fishing dock for food right right Let's place this over here. Now, let's look at how we're going to get housing. So this is going to come straight across over to here. And we want to get some housing in. And I think to start, we need something simple. Um, we could go with the wooden houses, which take 16 logs and 8 stone. Or we could come into red ketchups housing. And look at the, uh, is it these? 
No, it's not those. Is it these? It is these. Okay. These take 24 logs and 6 stone. So a little bit more logs, a little bit less stone, but they're two-story. Since we're cramped on space, these would be the ones that I would recommend first. So we're going to come right here. We're going to leave a gap between the two. And we're going to go one. That's second story there. And uh, let's come back around to that color roof. Because I want these to kind of be matchy-matchy. That's two. And last one. Oh, I went left on it. Went one. There we go. I meant to hit the F, not the D. Three. And then we're going to come to the second floor. And same thing. One. Two. Three. Okay. We just need to follow one of them. We're going to see how they prioritize. Now, what kind of lob stock did we get? We got, looks like Frisian cows again. So I want to build my pasture and I want to build it close by. Obviously, not a ton of room. So we're going to go with a fence pasture. Fenceless just needs fodder. Fenced pasture. Hmm. Okay. So if we go one off of that. And we go... 24 by 12. Right? Four. We'll put the shack there. 24 by 12 should house all of our livestock. So that's where we're going to put the pasture. And I want them to do that first. So immediately I'm going to increase priority on the pasture. Now let's go into game speed. They'll play on two times and let them crack on. Now, the reason why I want them to do the pasture first, I don't want to lose these cows. They're going to become very important in, uh, all right. And we got four fodder thatch right away. And then what we can do with the excess laborers we have, we can have them clear almost all of, whoops, got a little auto save going. There. There, there, and looks like there, and that'll get rid of all of that. Now, almost all is all the stones and ore in the area, and that's what we want to clear out for the gatherer's hut, which will be the second thing that we build, hopefully. So hopefully they'll clear this area out up here. Okay, that stockpile is done. I can stop following it. And actually, let's, uh, let's crank up the speed. Five times speed. A little bit faster than I like to play. Ah, they're doing the roads right on. I, I, I never remember that. <laughs> they always do the roads first. Right on. Okay, and they're out here clearing. Oh, didn't matter that I chose the pasture first. They're building the gatherers hut first, and the forest lodge. Right on. You got. You guys do you. You do you. I'll do me. So two pauses it. It does. Right on. And three plays. And one. I never knew the number things, so I can slow it down like that. There we go. All right, so the gatherer's hut is done. We're going to put three people in there. One, two, three. We did have some people growing up to become adults. 
So we now have half as many children as we have adults. This barn is going to fill out quick, so we're probably going to need uh, to work on getting more storage for the foods. And the Forester is ready to go. I'm going to put two people in there, and that's one, two. And we can close them down. So they did get the pasture fairly cleared. They're working on it. They're also working on the housing. And the fishing dock over here is almost done. I'll pull that out. I'm only going to put uh, two people in there to fish. So we're going to go here and one, two. And there's our division of labor to start out. And in the pasture, I'm just going to put the one in. It's not going to be super efficient, but it will work. Right on. Now, what we're going to end up trying to do is, uh, from this island here, we're going to build a bridge over to this island and get our main town going before we start working on getting the trade merchants and, and stuff like that in. Now, I mentioned in previous videos, uh, channel update, and, and uh, I think in the last Red Ketchup Mod Spotlight video, um, my objective is to get uh, most of our, our sustainability needs through trade. I mean, that's, that's what I'd like to do. That's one of the reasons why I got the mod, is I want to get it through trade. Okay, so it looks like that's working. And we've got the second floor they're working on already. And we are out of logs. And that's a second floor. And that's a second floor there. Boom, that house is done. And we are out of logs, but we still got people homeless. 13, in fact. So that should hopefully be taken up by the next three levels of housing. Uh, we're going to come in here. And we are going to clear some trees from here. There you go. And we are going to clear some trees from here. Alright. So now we're down to 11, 11 people. Might put a lighthouse on this island. I think if we, could, if we can get it in, we'll put a lighthouse down here. Let's actually check out his lighthouse. Um, here's your town... Oh, I got these in the wrong spot. I get it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Check out the town buildings. Here's the lighthouse. R, R, R. It won't work there. Can I get it in? R. I can get it right there. I could get it right there. So I could very much incorporate that and pause it. I know that's there. Okay, so got two more floors to go and that lighthouse acts as a uh, town hall so that's a good thing all right so we're clearing some trees we're getting some wood uh, the wood that we desperately need for the pasture and the housing I'm probably gonna need more of it so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna clear these trees those are slated to go. We'll get all of these trees. We'll get all of these trees. Clear off this end of the island, actually. Might as well. And while we're at it, we might as well get the stone and everything from over here as well. Because we're going to need it. Now, in here... Uh, let's see. Trade posts and merchants. Not what I'm looking for. Roads, tunnels, and bridges. So, the only thing it is in here is roads, and then road removal. 
So, and then we got jetties and bridges. That's a jetty construction yard. So, the jetty construction lumber yard, a place to produce lumber from logs. So, we're going to need that for the jetty works anyways, and we're going to need that for lumber for other things. So, if I take this, let's close that out. We're going to come in here. It's going to be freezing cows. We've got eight. We can put 14 in. We're going to back that down to one, and one person's going to go in there. And they're going to work the Frisian cows. There's our little home there. A single person moved in. Which one are you? Yeah, no. So I'm going to do this. i got to come in here. I'm going to remove structure and reclaim. There you go. Now we have a family in there. Can't have a single person moving into the house. We're short on space. Now if I come over here. And we go Red's housing again. We go first floor. Rotate it around. Go with this roof. I can go this. And then I can go this. Okay. Hopefully, with these three houses, we can get everybody housed. Okay, that took care of a chunk, but like I know this one here, yeah, that's got three adults living in it. I don't want that. And then the lower houses. Lower houses are just single families. Wow, they're, they got some chilling in there. All right, come over here. And the second floor. Okay, now back to the DS Jetty. So it was in here. Here. And I want to get this lumber yard in. And I think I want to see if I can fit it here. I can. Excellent. So I'm going to put it right here. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. No, I can't do that. I can put it here behind the house. It won't fit there. Okay, let's try it on this side. Dang it. I'm just not wanting to fit anywhere. Alright, let's uh we'll rotate it back around. We'll go with this spot over here. One off. Yeah, we'll go right there. Okay. And that's just logs and stone. We'll take the road. And we will come right up into it like that. Okay, that was a save. And then this will come straight up like this. There you go. Cramped, cramped starting quarters. But you know what? It's all good. Yeah, there you go. Those children will be adults soon, so we're going to need more houses. And I'm thinking we'll just we'll we'll encroach on the uh, the gatherers area and the forest area by a little bit by putting houses on this side of the road. And then by that time, we can look at coming across with a bridge. See if I do it from here. Will it will it go? It will go there. Okay, very good. We can do that. If I needed to, I could come down this side. And that actually might be a little better. Come down into the heart of it. So, there's our first episode. And uh, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and su subscribe button down below. Pardon me, a little indigestion. Uh, if you have any suggestions as to what you'd like to see me try to build here in uh, Red R. Thompson's Hollow, uh, put them in the comments below, because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Wednesday for another episode of Burners with Red Ketchup's Editor's Choice Mod and Discrepancies, Jetties and Bridges and Thompson's Trade Merchants. I'm not going to say that every time at the end of the video. That's a, that's a mouthful. All right. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.